Okay, so in our last video in our 30 day challenge at um, Center Traders or Center Traders 30 day challenge, we were talking about our three musketeers setup. And what that basically is are three indicators on one chart that is our stochastic indicator, our RSI indicator, and our moving average MACD indicator. And we're going to use these three indicators as a way to confirm our trading decisions. Now, this is nothing new. I mean, I'm calling the three musketeers, but this is nothing new. Uh, when I first got into uh, trading options, um, I started off with Invest Tools. And Invest Tools, they're famous for the three green arrows up or the three red arrows down. And all that was is indicators, green arrows on stochastic MACD and RSI, and the same thing for red arrows down. So this is not um, this is not a late breaking new strategy or anything like that. And I, and uh, another person that I follow, Ryan Litchfield, he calls it his three amigos. And this is actually set up pretty much like his is set up. So I am not saying that I created this template. I'm saying this is a great template to use for confirmation in your trading system. And so as you can see here, um, I have the three indicators on a chart. And all I'm looking for, for my three green arrows up or my three red arrows down, is for them all to be trending in the same direction. So we have wind here that's trending down. But we can see here that our, we have divergence on our indicators. They're actually showing um, um, a little bit of a bullish move on it. We've got a double bottom here. What's also interesting as, as you look at this, here's stochastic, is one of the things we talked about in our video, our last video, is divergence. And we have that here on this indicator. Uh, let me show you what I mean. We have wind that is pushing down and making lower lows, right? You can see that? But look at uh, stochastic. Stochastic is actually making higher lows, right? And we can see on Mac. MACD that we uh, we do are making higher lower lows here, but you can see we also kind of bottom off right here. So we do have some divergence according to this chart template, showing that um, this potential push down um, is ending. Now keep in mind, look at where this chart is. This is this is not a current chart. This is July 08. Um, so. What I'm looking for here, this showed me that right now my three musketeers are not agreeing with the stock. I'm not ready to go bullish on it, and they're not confirming a, a, a continuation of the downtrend, so I would not be trading the stock. Um, let me do one more example, and then what I want to do is try to put all this together. We have all these videos on moving averages, bowling trip bands, support and resistance. Um, um, I want to try to put all that together as a part of this video here. So let's go to another stock, uh, one of my favorites, which is Apple. Now, Apple, for the most part, is consolidated. You can see that I had a rectangle drawn here, but you can really see that I could actually bring my rectangle down here to $165, and now you can really see where their stock is, is just kind of consolidating, la, 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 la. So let's go see if we have three red, green arrows up or down. And stochastic, eh, you know, they're heading up. They're heading up, um, but RSI and MACD really aren't making me feel warm and fuzzy. So I do. I would not be getting confirmation from this um, template. Um, and, and more importantly, you can see we got resistance at this 179 range. Again, look where we are. <laughs> People are saying 179. What? <laughs> so um, uh, I would be. Um, I, I I do not have confirmation this stock. Basically, this stock is consolidating. It did bounce off the 200 moving average, which is good. But what I would be looking for is a breakout either to the upside or to the downside. Now, we all know it broke down. <laughs> but that's what I would be looking for this stock. So, again, what I'm looking for in this template is confirmation. Three angling up, all angling down. So, let's try to put this all together. All these things that I've been sharing in these videos. Let's tie together for your technical analysis trade plan, your technical analysis chart templates. First and foremost, I use this template here, which has the 20, 10, 5, and 50 exponential moving average. Again, the 50, the 20, the 10, and the 5 exponential moving average. 
I also have volume on this chart template. I, I have cash flow on this template, but this is specific to extreme charts. And um, to be honest with you, I don't really pay that much attention to it anymore. Um, so what I'm looking for this one is, how is this stock doing in the short term? Also notice that I do have my support and resistance drawn for the stock. And I have what? Resistance at 180. Uh, went there, tested, came down, went back up there, gapped up here to 180, and came right, right back down. So looking at this one, I would say a couple things. First of all, we do still have support. All the moving averages have converged, and that's where the stock closed. So this stock would not pass my initial look. I always start off with this template. You might come in here um, if you wanted to and draw this short-term line and say, okay, I am at a support line. You can also say that, well, look, I've got support here. I've got resistance here. So I've got a ascending wedge play that I could break out of. And uh, for those who are following my uh, the Ascendant Trader 30 Day Challenge, this first week here in November, we're going to talk about chart patterns. That's what I'm going to cover all week. So when you hear me say things like ascending wedge play, we're going to be talking about that. So come on out and check it out. So Apple right now, I wouldn't be trading it right now. Um, I, I might have an alert up here to catch the breakout, but it wouldn't pass this template. But that's, this is how I start looking at every stock. I start off with this template. I want to see how does this stock look in the short term. Where is the short term support and resistance? Where are the short term moving averages? So I can see, again, where's my target? If I'm going to put an alert in the stock, I need to know where this is going. Remember, this is a Sendo Traders trade plan. It's all about rules. A good trade is one entered and exited based upon rules, regardless of the outcome. Part of your rules got to be, where's my target with the stock? You need to determine what your reward, reward to uh, risk uh, ratio is. Um, um, I can't determine that for you, but you at least need to know what it is. So here I am looking at the long term. Again, we can see it bounced off the 200. So this would say we're consolidating. We're still on above the moving averages, which by definition is a bullish. But this is my next template. I've got the 100 and the 200 simple moving average. I also have a 10 just to keep me... Uh, I still want to know what's going on short term. But long term, I can see that we do have support of the 100 and the 200 moving average. So this is the next place I'm going to go. On both templates, I have volume to see if there's more volume coming in or out of the stock. So I start off short term, see where things are. I move long term, see where my support and resistance is for um, uh, my, again, my target. And although I, I wouldn't be trending Apple, um, I, I know where it are. After that, I would go to my three amigos. And we've already talked about this. Our three, three musketeers here are not confirming anything. They're going to the side. They're not really telling us one thing or the other. Um, so this also, again, is not confirming the stock. Um, then I would go to my Bollinger Bands. You can see because we're consolidating, what's going on? The bands are tightening. So we do have a potential squeeze play happening here. At this period of low volatility, we have a potential of uh, a squeeze play happening. Um, but that's what I would be looking for. So let's take one more stock through these steps and see what we get there. Uh, let's go to, I don't know, let's go to Google. Everybody knows Google. All right, so again, let me start off with my moving averages. And now, what do I see here? I see that the moving averages, the 2010 and the 5 and the 50, they're resistance now. The Google is below the moving average, which is by definition is bearish. What else do we see? Well, you can see I also have a rectangle of the consolidation period for uh, Google here. And where is Google at? It's right at the bottom of this. So this would pass my first template and I would be looking at going on to this one and I would be put it, putting alert below these wicks to see if I can catch the filling of the gap here. I want to see, will Google fill the gap? We all know that Google did fill the gap, didn't it? Um, so I would say, okay, I'm at the bottom of this. I've got resistance of the moving arrows above me. Let's go on to the next one. And I can see, oh, what do we have here? We've got the 100 simple moving average here. But since I'm going to put my alert below the wicks, that is below the 100. So I would below this, be below the support area. So I'm okay. Um, so that's okay. I go over here and I can see, well, MACD's breaking down. That's good. RSI's angling down. That's good. And although 
Uh, you can see we're at the beginning of stochastics rolling over. We're at the beginning of stochastics rolling over. So these, my three musketeers are also confirming that we have a good trade. Finally, I would go to my Bollinger Bands, and you can see that we started to have a, a spread here. The lower band, although it's not happening on the top one, the lower band is beginning to spread down. So all these are confirming that this would be a good trade to the downside. Knowing what my target is, I have two targets. I have this support here, and my second target would be actually filling the gap.